Thank you. We're delighted to be here, uh, all of us. Uh, Farmers Union is a grassroots organization. As, as you heard, uh, we've been organized over 100 years in the U.S. We've got members in all 50 states, but the preponderance of our membership is in the central part of the country where much of agriculture uh, thrives. Uh, I, the, the message that I have today is I think farmers are in many ways the original environmentalists. Uh, while it is true that agriculture is a large source of greenhouse gas emissions, it is also just as true that with the right innovations in agriculture, we can become one of the largest methods for reducing greenhouse gas emissions, and we all need to eat. So there is a win-win solution that, that we all can be a part of. Uh, it's interesting if you read the news and you study history and you know that we are just in the midst of one of the worst droughts in this country that we've seen in five or six decades, uh, sort of on par with what last happened in the 1930s. And historically, many of you will know that in the 30s, the scenes that are seared into the, into the minds of many of us are scenes of dirt blowing so rampantly, so all over the place in the country that it actually drifted like snow drifts uh, and we ruined vast areas of land because of the erosion that came from, the, uh, from wind blowing dry dirt that simply could not stay put. What's different about the drought this year is that you don't see those pictures anywhere. And the reason for that is that farmers have dramatically changed their farming practices and are using many more soil conserving methodologies of tillage, of planting, uh, of growing their crops to hold the soil more in place. Uh, that's one example of even though we are, we're sort of the original uh, beneficiaries, if you will, of the green revolution, why I believe that we will also be an instrumental part of the clean revolution in agriculture. Uh, climate change is very real to us. Uh, one of the things that our organization did about a half a dozen years ago is we started a voluntary program to encourage farmers to do the right things environmentally and to do scientifically uh, proven methodologies of reducing emissions and then taking those uh, practices, documenting them, packaging them, aggregating them and selling them on the Chicago Climate Exchange. We were the nation's largest aggregator of, uh, of these uh, practices before the market busted as a result of the political dysfunction that you heard about earlier. I say that only to say that we can do this again. And a final point I would make about that is that even though we had millions of acres of land signed up and under contractual obligations uh, as in, in order to receive those payments through the CCX, when that whole system went away, the contracts, even though they were no longer enforceable, by the vast majority of the farmers that had signed up continue to follow those practices yet today. They want to do the right thing. We want to do the right thing. We want to be part of the, cre of the clean revolution. And I think we are well situated to do that. All we're waiting for is for the right signals to come from government to say these are the kinds of policies that we have in place, and then we will do it even more rapidly than what is occurring today. Thank you.